time. So it's going to go, it's going to get to that point, and then it's going to say your task did not complete. And then it kind of gives you a stack trace saying it went from the default, it's in a series, it's in create JavaScript. Um, did you, and then this is the weird part is, did you forget to signal async completion? And that's either expecting that callback a task or a couple other items. You can probably check the documentation for exactly what those are, but I would suggest either calling your callback um, or just uh, returning a stream, whatever is easiest. So we have the same things here. We have a CI build, we have a prod build, we have our set dev, we have a set prod, and then we get down to our create JavaScript. And these are almost identical. Um, really still the only difference here is we're dropping this gulp dot period and just using the pieces that we actually need. And you'll see it's a pretty straightforward um, upgrade that way. So if, as long as as long as you go through the file and drop all your things where you called gulp before and just import, um, it makes your life a whole lot easier. We no longer have to do these um, dependency chains that we were doing before. We just let the series or parallels handle those. And um, down here, uh, I, this usually was at the top of the file. I just moved it down here for an easier comparison. But uh, this is this is how we like to find the tasks that someone's going to run. So if they call uh, gulp default, it's going to run this templates one. It's going to go find templates and it's going to figure out what to do. So here it would do templates and then it'd find create templates, run that and run all its dependencies, kind of go back up the chain. Um, and gulp four, it handles this a little bit differently. You do the series, you can pass it multiple. And so here you can also nest them as well. But I'm going to do the CI build, and then I'm going to do the parallel jobs of JavaScript typings and templates. So basically, all this is doing is letting me name what what I want the job to be. So here, this is the default job. If I want to have one um, called prod, I can just do exports.prod, set it equal to a series, and it'll run that job as well. So I'm just making these available to be called at later times down below. But that's really that's really all you need to do. If uh, if I fix that, if I rerun this here, it'll it'll run successfully. And then if I open this folder here, you can see I'm just like before. We're getting the same HTML. We're getting the same JavaScript bundle, and we're getting the same uh, typing def definitions. So. It's, it's a little bit tricky um, if you if you have a more complicated file a lot of it's just removing these um, these dependencies here so again the, the name of this task would be create templates and it's gonna it's saying that before I run make sure JavaScript and typings run but here you're saying um, you're gonna you're gonna have a function like this where you're gonna say, no, I want these things to run in an explicit order, or I want, um, so like whatever comes first in the series would be the dependencies, and then your other things would run later. It just makes it easier for Gulp to figure out how to run things, and it speeds it up. So I hopeful, hopefully that was helpful. If it was, please uh, like and share with your friends, um, but I hope you had a good time. Thanks.